we really appreciate you joining us here. This is my first interview with you. Uh, it's a big moment for me, my man. Thanks for coming on NBA TV. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure, Greg. So uh, let me start out by uh, talking about the success of your ball club, the Portland Trailblazers. Smitty and I just talked about it, 15-9. and nine. You're right in the thick of the Western Conference chase. Last year, of course, you made a little bit of a move, but it fell short. This year, uh, you're playing like that, that playoff team that you all thought you would be. What's it like for you in your first year being a part of such a special team? I mean, it's really good just being a part of this good team. And, you know, we're, we're just sitting here trying to get better. You know, as the year goes on, we're trying to get better. And we know that it's still the beginning. we got to keep on improving and, and try to make it to the end. Greg Old, Steve Smith, uh, just wanted to ask the question, how are you feeling as far as the pressure put on yourself? Are you really, really embracing this pressure? And how do you think the things are going for you so far? I mean, I'm all right. I, I'm pretty tough on myself as it is. You know, uh, I, I worry about what I'm doing worse than anybody else can say about me. So, you know, I'm, I'm always on myself looking to get better and looking to help my team get better. Greg, did you hear what uh, Charles Barkley had to say about you and this very topic on Thursday night on TNT? I did not. Would you like to hear it? Uh, I guess so. It's not, it's, it's, not, it's not horrible. It just has a little advice for you. Let's roll that right now. Let's let Greg listen in. If you look at Greg Oden's situation, I was reading where he's getting depressed. Hey, Greg Oden, you have to understand this. You really only 19 years old. I mean, you got to think about you, what, We live in this internet with all those jackasses and talk radio with those jackasses, too. But you, get, listen, you, you have to look at your game realistically. You really only played one year of college. So you're really 19 basketball-wise. So be patient. Your game is going to come around. You're going to learn how to score. But don't put undue pressure on yourself. You're a great kid. You've got a great personality. But you've got to be patient. Greg, I think that's heady, heady stuff right there. What, what, what's your uh, take on what Charles said? I mean, uh, thank him for saying it. You know, I, I do put a lot of pressure on myself, and I do get down on myself. But it's not like I'm depressed, you know. I keep a straight face all the time because I don't want to get too high on wins and, and too low on losses. So I, I keep a straight face, and a lot of people think that I'm not the happy-go-lucky guy that I was last year. But, you know, I, I just want people to know that, look, I'm all about business when it's coming to playing ball. And, and you know, it's thankful. I mean, there is a lot of pressure on me, and uh, there's a lot of pressure on this ball club. And, you you know, one thing about me, I'm just st still here trying to work and trying to get better. I know I'm a young guy, and, and I thank him for saying that, and I thank my teammates for bearing with me. You know, I am a little inconsistent to start off this year, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better each day. Well, Greg, when I'm looking at it, taking some advice from a veteran, I think when you look at it, enjoy your rookie year. You guys are having a great run, and for yourself, go out there and play with the same enthusiasm as you played in Ohio State when you kind of destroyed my Michigan State University team. I'm a little <laughs> upset with you, but the biggest thing is go out there and have fun, and everything will work its way out. Next thing you know, you'll be 14 years or 15 years in this league, and everything will be fine. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Well, Greg, let me ask you this. Uh, you, you've got a blog, yardbarker.com. Uh, whose blog is better? I've read them both. I've read yours. I've read Gilbert Arenas's. Those are two high-profile <laughs> blogs. Whose blog is better, Greg? Um, I've heard a lot about Gilbert Arenas's, and I didn't even know my blog was up there with his. You know, I keep mine going. I just say little things that I think. <laughs> And uh, one, one more personal question for you. Uh, do, do your teammates have a nickname for you? Because Smitty and I, uh, we're, we just call you Greg Oden. It, it, to be honest, it's kind of boring. Do your teammates have a nickname for you that we can maybe bring to the public? I'd rather just be called Gio. Okay, you know, Gio. There me. we go. Gio. Gio is fine. Uh, and, uh, you know, Greg. Go you, get it. Go get it. <laughs> go, go get it, Gio. <laughs> now, from, the, uh, from everything we've, we've heard and read, uh, you sound like a real high-character guy, Greg. Again, I've never met you. And... Obviously, Kevin Pritchard, you know, from Paul Allen down to Kevin Pritchard on down, it's all about building around high-character guys for that community in Portland. You know, they had issues. They don't have issues anymore. Talk about the high-character level of all the people in that Portland Trailblazer organization, including yourself. Well, I mean, we just got a bunch of good guys who, who's willing to win and, <clears throat> and play for each other. And it's good that you have a bunch of teammates not worried about drama or anything like that. We're just trying to get better as a team and as an organization and, and have fun. Good luck against the Clippers tonight, Greg. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much for having me.